Hey everybody, it's Bert from Soft Tubes. It has been a while. Uh, I will go into. I'm, I'm basically. Uh, basically, the reason I'm doing another video is new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer, the new official trailer with the new hedgehog. So we're going to give this a look at, um, and essentially, yeah, see how this looks compared to the other one. Um, but yeah, so basically, like, yeah, I had a bit while there, wasn't making videos for a fair while. Now I'm back, um, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video for people that are interested that really watch my videos and whatnot. I'll get into some details. Uh, but first, let's watch this trailer, and then we'll talk about it, I think. So I feel like there's going to be a bit to talk about. All right, let's take this away. Hey, I do. Oh, a little ball of super I've energy. actually got freaking Sonic package. World. On my like planet, the video game. People were always after my powers, so I came to yours. It gets a little lonely. Okay. That's that's okay. okay. I am living my he looks best life on Earth. better. It's just weird they didn't do a reveal. I was actually expecting a reveal of his look. They did that in the first trailer. Also, huh. I can't with huh. that guy. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, Why are you hiding out in my garage? They're coming for me! If they steal my power, they could conquer the universe. You have to help oh, me. No, I don't. Please, it's life or death. Supersonic. Good morning, my rural chum. Mr. Dr. Robotnik. I'm Ooh, we got a name. I think we got a oh, To tell me where it is. Wait, don't hurt him! Ah! Road trip! Yeah. Woo -woo! This can't be happening to me. Oh my god, stop the car right what? now! What? The world's largest rubber band ball? We gotta see it! No, this is not some fun family road trip. Eh, you're right. It was lame. Gift shop was cool, though. <laughs> Whatever this creature is, I'm going to uncover the source of its power. Yeah, hey! thought you might like a latte with steamed Austrian goat milk. Of course I want a latte. I love the way you make them! We gotta lay low. Let me show you how it's done. So should we get out of here? Yeah, time to go. I always want to do this. Nailed it! Hey, hey. Uh oh Let's go! Here comes the boom! How are you not dead? I have no idea! Oh! Give me a Mama. big fat break! Illegal left, by the way. Oh, this one is cute. Let's keep him. Oh, come on! You've got car insurance, right? Why would you throw your life away for this silly little alien? Good time. He's my friend. Let's go! This is my power. And I'm using it to protect my friends. Let's go! Let's go! So, you're supposed to be Tom's best friend that he won't shut up about. Well, I don't see the appeal. <laughs> that is very gross. Let's go. There's still a lot to unpack here. Um, they made the design different, and I think it's. I mean, I, I know a lot of people are more happy with this design. I can understand why it looks more like the cartoon, or oh, the game. I, I mean, it looks more like the cartoon too. There was a Sonic cartoon series. Um, there's a few things that are still different. Like they've given him the um, bit between the eyes, which I guess probably does look maybe better in this style. Um, but there is things like you get like I'm looking at a comparison between the two, and like yeah, the original was a lot hairier, a bit more humanoid. I don't. I, in a way, it's more humanoid and less humanoid than the new one. Uh, different features. Some of it's more hedgehoggy um, than other ones. They definitely they didn't get rid of the teeth. I noticed they've shrunk them, uh, made them less obvious. They've also smoothed out his face. There's still hair, but it's a bit more smooth. It's not as coarse as in the original trailer. Um, there's a lot to unpack here. The I think my biggest problem here is. Yeah, they, they spent a lot of time and money and probably didn't pay a lot of people a lot. 
uh, to get this done. It would be interesting to know how much people worked on this for bugger all to get this done. Because this is not a simple process. Like, if you look at, like, they've changed a lot of his shape too, like his height and stuff. That's a lot of work. That's not, like, either they were planning on this all along, so they planned to do this, so this wasn't a big effort, which I don't necessarily fall for those conspiracy theories, especially with this sort of stuff. Like, that seems like an odd move. Why? Like, I mean, yeah, you'll get a bit of buzz, but I don't know if that's kind of the buzz the studio would typically want from something like this. I don't think they would want to go like, no, we'll, like, it's our thing. We know it's horrible, but we'll fix it, and then they'll thank us for it. But it is kind of happening. Um, it's weird. But, uh, it, it, it just, yeah, it's not an easy thing to do, because the eye line is completely different. Unless the, uh, like, the irises are still in the same spot, maybe? It's possible his head is wider. I, mm, it, but it's still not an easy thing to have done, and that brings up its own issues. And that can be a real problem. Um... So it was not going to be easy to do if they did have to do this entirely from scratch. So, I... It, the problem is, I don't know if it was worth it. Like, honestly... the I feel like most of the people who were pissed off were either going to go see this regardless or not going to go see this regardless. I don't think there was much of an intersection of, oh, I'd love to go see the Sonic movie, but only if he looks like the game Sonic. I don't know if that was really going to be in there a lot. I think a lot of the people were already in camps and were just annoyed. Um, and the change did nothing to really change their mind. I've seen a few people that seem excited now, which is cool. Uh, my problem is, the movie around it still doesn't look good. It still doesn't look like a good movie. I think Jim Carrey will be charismatic and interesting to watch. He typically is. I'm not always the biggest fan of Jim Carrey. I find he can, and I don't think it's entirely his fault, but I find he can kind of get caught on certain um, actions and cer certain, um, I forget the word off the top of my head, mannerisms and things like that. Um, but I think that's why people hire him typically. They want, it's, it's kind of like you hire Johnny Depp because you want Johnny Deppisms. So he ends up doing a lot of the same crap all the time. Jim Carrey is kind of the same. You hire Jim Carrey mostly because you want Jim Carrey. Um, so you get him to do stuff that people typically associate with Jim Carrey. And that's what we're getting a lot of here. That's why I think, like, um, even though there's still a lot of Jim Carrey in there, um, one of my favorite friggin' Jim Carrey films is, uh, Cable Guy, because it, it has that, but it puts a darker edge on it, um, which I think is a nice takeaway for him. Um, but the rest of this film just does not look great. And it actually bugs me more. So I'm pretty sure in the original trailer, my reaction, I talk about how I found it weird that they put Sonic in the real world. I didn't understand that. I understand it less now that they've fully revealed his world because they rendered his world. They rendered all of that. They made his world. They probably made more than they showed. And then we probably will barely get to see it, because most of it takes place on Earth for reasons. Uh, and it just makes it uninteresting. It, it does lead to... I've seen a few people talk about this already. But who is this movie for? Who who was this made for? What is its target demographic? Because if it's for Sonic fans of the games, teasing them with the level design, but then not giving that to them more isn't going to alienate them a little bit. They're not going to be going out to go see Sonic interact with real people that much because that's not what the games are about. Uh, there was a TV show that kind of did that, but still, it's not really what Sonic's about. And kids, like, cool, Sonic in the real world. It looks... The real world looks boring. And that's a big problem. The only things that look interesting in the real world are Sonic and Robotnik stuff. But anything else, like they're on a road. Cool, it's a road. It looks like a road. Like, it'd be more interesting to see a, a human go into Sonic's world. Um, I think that would make a more interesting film that, as a kid, I would want to go see. Like, there's, there's not doing enough to make the world feel magical. Some films can do that, where they can take real-world things and make it magical. But typically, they find other ways to do it. E.T. kind of does it. But E.T. finds a way to find a lot of, like, interesting magical stuff in the real world. 
I don't... I mean, I could be wrong, and this film could be full of that stuff. It doesn't feel like it is, though. It feels like their attempt at that is Sonic being interested in mundane stuff like the giant rubber band ball. Like, he was like, oh, well, it's great. Like, it's rubber band ball. Like, I want to go see it. And he says, it's like, eh. That's, I think, their attempt to find magic in the real world, but it's not really working. I do like that there's a bit of meta to it. Like, Sonic understands how ridiculous it is that he can survive things. Um, I do like that. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt it either way, no matter what. I will even help it necessarily as a film. Um, because there is the issue of then you can just kind of explain away everything in one thing. Like, I don't know how I survive. And then he can just survive anything at that point. Because he doesn't know, so nobody knows. It's kind of opening yourself to just not give a crap about the writing. Um, but I don't know whether that will necessarily happen specifically. But I just, I don't understand the point of this film. I just don't understand the point of it. I think that's my biggest problem. Like, I don't... I kind of miss the old design. Because part of the thing that I think I like about the other design... Is at least it's different. That you're trying something different. They were looking at something. They didn't just go... This is Sonic and a lackluster film. Like, they at least were trying things. This, they just went, okay, this is what people want. They just gave it. And... Still, everything around it looks like there wasn't a lot of effort put into it. Could be completely wrong. The film could be great. But everything I'm saying does not lead that way. It still leads to a, at best, mediocre film with a pretty good-looking Sonic in the middle of it. But there's still the fact that the CGI is not amazing either. There's one shot in this, especially where he's like hiding in the shadows. He doesn't look right. He looks literally like a cartoon in that shot to me. Like, he looks like a 2D cartoon hiding in shadows. And it's so weird to me. Like, he still doesn't look like he belongs. Like, I don't know why they decided to put Sonic in the real world. I don't know what they're like. I can kind of understand not doing animation, because animated films tend to not do well. Unless you've got a name behind you like Pixar, or Spider-Man, or something like that. Or you can at least, like, push something to make it people go like, Oh, this is interesting. They don't tend to do very well at all. Spider-Verse is one of the greatest friggin... Like, probably the best superhero movie ever made. It's friggin... Or at least up there. It's one of the best animated films ever made. It's one of... Like, it, it fits so many categories as one of the better of those things. Nobody went and saw it because it was an animated thing. So I can kind of understand why they didn't want to go that path. But then it still leads to this question of why they're... Making the real world look so stupid. Because you putting it right next to Sonic, who looks interesting and cartoonish. And you're taking him away from his world that looks like that. Like, I don't know why they didn't go more of the Detective Pikachu route, where it's a good blend, where I feel part of the reason Detective Pikachu works, and I probably mentioned this in the other reaction to this, the original trailer for Sonic, it works because of the blending in that world. There's a certain thing where if it was literally like my street outside and there were Pokemon, it would feel disconnected. It wouldn't feel quite right. It wouldn't mesh. Um, and in the same way in the Lion King film, the acting didn't really mesh well with the look because the look was so real, but real lions don't normally have voices coming at them. So there's this weird disconnect going on there. Um... You need that those things to mesh. And Detective Pikachu did a good way of making the buildings... Pokemon-esque. Like, there's a certain design about them that's Pokemon-esque. It's not very, like... It, it still looks real, but you know it's not the real world. You know there's not a city that looks like that, specifically. Uh, it looks... I mean, it almost looks like a theme park in a way, because that's just how... Like, at least for me, that's how my brain sort of going. Like, oh, yeah, I can imagine that being a theme park I would love to go to. But, you're, yeah, you brain can go, that's not the real world, but it's not entirely fake either. It's this nice in-between. So then you're more likely to accept a real-life human standing next to a CGI Pikachu. You can buy that. And the CGI on Pikachu was really good, which helped as well. It, I don't know. There's something with Sonic here. I think the lighting looks better just looking, comparing these images again. The lighting looks a lot better. But although the image I'm looking at right here, because it's a small thumbnail... I don't have a lot of reference for the rest of the room, so it's hard to say if the lighting is better. It looks more detailed, um, but there is a weird shine to him, which is sort of making that effect. But he still might not look right. Like, there are things where he, parts of him look too luminous 
for what the camera should be able to see. So I don't know. I will probably see this. I will put it out there right now. I'm probably going to see Sonic. I don't expect to enjoy it very much. But I will probably see it. And I'll probably do a review if I'm back in doing reviews. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on Sonic. So I will move now on to what's been up the last month or so. Probably two months now. Because um, it kind of sucks. Because... Basically, I kind of dropped off right before It Chapter 2 came out, and I really wanted to do a reaction for It Chapter 2. I was so keen, and then it just didn't happen. And part of what happened there, and part of this is going to sound excusey, and it, some of it is kind of excusey. Uh, there was a bunch of like personal stuff for me. It was, I was getting a bit busy as well with work and things, and sort of like. But there was a lot of like, head stuff for me, and then. I started writing a novel, um, which I, part of that was I put, I wrote like 30,000 words, then realized that the direction the novel needed to go was not the direction I was going, so I had to start rewriting again, and that sort of put me in a weird headspace as well, actually. Um, but there was basically, it was a lot of different stuff that all melded down into I lost motivation, and part of that was, I think that this channel became something it wasn't originally intended to be. Um, and I wasn't sure how to keep progressing. Um, so it was basically a two for thing. Like this channel originally started as me and friends playing video games. And that was kind of what we wanted to do. I mean, this is really just a fun channel. This is something I do for fun and because I'm interested in video making and story and all this sort of stuff. And I like video games, so it made sense to kind of meld those things. I can play video games and do reactions while playing them that have sort of a narrative to them, or, and I can do it with an understanding of narrative and structure and those things. Sometimes not well, uh, because in the moment your brain doesn't necessarily work that way, so some of them are pretty bad. Um, but that was sort of like what it was for a long time, and then there was some stuff went on behind the scenes there, and there was some shifting, and we kept trying to keep things going, and then... Towards the end, when, when I basically there was a major shift when I, when I started doing this stuff it was a bit before, but I kind of knew it, it like there was personal stuff with the other guys on the channel with George and Chris. Um, like Chris had a kid and stuff. Like people get busy essentially. Um, when I say personal stuff, it makes it sound like it's a really dark kind of thing, but it's literally people get busy, and it's totally understandable. I don't necessarily have a lot going on in my personal life as such in terms of like I'm not in a relationship or I have a kid or anything so I have a lot more free time in those re regards so that's why I'm able to keep doing this but it did mean essentially like I started doing reactions and film analyses um, because it's something I'm interested in I thought oh, it'd be really cool to start doing that and I started doing these analysis videos um, and I started doing reactions but it, I hit a two for problem there where essentially the channel suddenly became just me essentially um, with occasionally other stuff um, but mostly it was just me holding it down. Um, which was a lot of me putting pressure on myself, which isn't always great. Um, but it was still kind of working. But the other problem was I was trying to stick to the structure I'd already established on the channel. I went very hard on trying to constantly push our content. At one point we were doing five days a week. I think we'll do more, and then I sort of backed off, and I went, alright, we'll do three days a week when we're doing gameplay videos. I think it's still the trailer that's up. It mentions that. We're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos for Australian Times. And we were pumping out that for a while. And that was working pretty well, um, but then there were the shifts and stuff like that behind the scenes, people getting busy and whatnot, and suddenly, like, that couldn't always work, and I was totally okay with, like, okay, occasionally I might miss a video, or... I might have an extra video to put up. So it sort of shifted still anyway. But then when I started doing reactions and stuff, I not only hit a point where I was like, I need to keep the momentum I've got. I'm like, oh, I should build more momentum. I should put out a video every day that I can. Um, I still tried to leave weekends free for myself, but I was still also going like, oh, if I can put out a video, why would I not put out a video? But this built a lot more pressure on myself where I started reacting to stuff that... I found some interesting stuff I might not have otherwise watched, but I also was just reacting to stuff for the sake of putting out a video, which is not why I do this. I don't want to, like... Part of with the video games, what I found fun was, even if I play a bad video game, because I'm like, oh, I'll be, I kind of need a video, I'll do a bad video game, there's still something intrinsically interesting in, to me in playing a bad video game and finding comedy from that, or finding commentary. 
Watching a trailer for something I'm not interested in is a bit different because it's so passive. With a game, you're active, you're doing stuff, so you can find things, you can kind of interact and meld with it in a way, which I helps it be interesting, even if you are sort of just sort of trying to push it into something. With a reaction, I'm literally just sitting here watching and trying to comment, and it creates, it's a very passive kind of thing with me forcing a more active element. And so there was a lot of stuff I was doing that... Honestly, I was just like, oh, okay, like, it looks cool, but I really otherwise probably shouldn't have done because it didn't have any real value. I didn't necessarily have anything to talk about it, and I kind of knew that going in, stuff like that. It was, like, actually one of the last videos I, like, was... I, one of the last videos I put up, because it was the Conjuring movie reaction. I do intend to do more of those movie reactions. I do enjoy those. Gives me a good reason to watch stuff I haven't seen. All right, for that, it is Jojo Rabbit trailer. And I think in the in that, I mentioned that there is a Bad Boys for Life trailer uh, reaction about to come out. That never came out. And part of that was, that was one of those ones where I went and go, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll have like some really interesting like stuff to say. And then I watched it and I was pretty hyped up when I watched it. Um, I was actually a bit more down by the time I got to Jojo Rabbit because I'd done a bunch of talking already. But I watched it. I didn't really have that much to say. I went, it looks like a cool movie. And I kind of just repeated that. And when I was watching it, I just went, this is not interesting. So I decided not to put it out at all. But that that came with the same hit of, eh, if I don't have anything to say, maybe I don't have anything to say. And I lost momentum. And I the motivation drained with that. And I kept, I built excuses. Like, yeah, the novel took up time. Like, I have to put in time to write the novel. I only have a limited amount of time to work, do, like, other stuff with, like, family or whatever. Um, make videos, write, and also have time to just relax and self-care. So, I was sort of doing a balancing act there and sort of let this fall aside so I could focus on the writing. Um, but that meant, essentially, it became harder and harder to get back to because it had been so long each time. Every time it took a bit longer, it took a bit longer. And so, yeah, my motivation just sort of dropped. And there's been so many trailers recently where I've been going like, I want to react to this. The Frozen 2, the newest trailer, really wanted to react to this. I have not watched a lot of trailers because I went, oh, that'd be cool to react to. But then when it comes to it, my motivation was still down. And because of a lot of things. And a lot of it's just on me. It was just me. Um, so basically, what this is, all this meandering is leading to, I've probably been talking for way long in this video. But essentially, what this means is I may not put out a video every day. They may not be exactly frequent. I know in terms of YouTube and getting viewers and stuff, that's a bad idea, but given where I am at this time, um, unless things have a real shift, um, that's just how it's going to be. If a really interesting trailer pops up, I'll try to react to it and do it, try to do it as quickly as possible. But if I can't, I can't. And that's essentially how it's going to be. And I'm also going to try and go back to doing things that interest me. I want to do more gameplay videos. Um, even, like, I like doing scary games and stuff like that. I want to do more of that. If I can try and get people to do more multiplayer stuff, then we'll do more of that. I do have some stuff sitting there to do. I've just got to go through and have a look at it. Um, so I'm going to try and do that stuff. I want to do some more analysis stuff, and yeah. I may not do a review of every big film. I might only do reviews of certain films that I feel like I have a lot to talk about. Um, though the reviews did get me to see films I might have otherwise not seen. I didn't like Dumbo, but I probably wouldn't have seen it in the first place to find that out if I hadn't been intending to do a review. So there's a bit of a balancing act there, but that's essentially where I'm at right now. Hopefully there'll be more videos, but I'm yeah, expecting them to It'd still be pretty slow for the go time being. But there is a lot of stuff I want to react to at the moment. But I'm also busy this weekend because I believe I have two games of D&D. I might only have one, but there might be two. Depends how things get organized. Um, but that takes up my nights, essentially, my only free nights over the weekend, so it's only during the day, and for me, I'm a bit of a night creative, essentially. Later on, I'm better at creating stuff and stuff like that. I can try and force it earlier, but it doesn't actually work. Um, but yeah, that's basically where everything is at. Um, so if you stayed around for all that, thank you. Um, that was me realize I should have done this bit earlier, but yeah, um... <laughs> Didn't do it. But yeah, if you have any comments about Sonic or the channel or anything, I've had some pretty interesting comments lately. Some people have been a little confused about the message. I'm sorry if I come off a bit standoffish or abrasive. Sometimes when I'm responding, because I've still been trying to keep up with comments and stuff as they pop up, even though I haven't been making videos. Um, but sometimes, yeah, 
I can get them at weird times, and then I'm just trying to reply in a way that I hope is pretty, at the least, neutral. I don't necessarily want to, I, like, I don't want to be, come off as abrasive to anyone, because even if, like, it's a message I don't agree with, typically there's still something someone has that, that can be interesting. Um, or can actually, like, make me rethink the way things we've done. Like, there's, like, the stuff series we did, some people didn't like the way we did the comedy, and although I don't necessarily fully agree with all of the analysis of that, I can understand, I can, it makes me look at it and go, okay, yeah, there's some ways we could have probably done it a little better to make the comedy not so jarring or something. Um, stuff like that, so I've been keeping up with it. One cool thing was, like, uh, taking him at face, I haven't been able to get absolute clarification but a guy who was behind the company like founded the company that created one of the games i made i forget the name off the top of my head but it was an australian game commented and liked like the reaction and was talking about like there were some issues with the game and i got really worried when i saw that comment if you're seeing this like holy crap like i saw that and went oh because all i read was like i founded the company that made the game and i like straight away it was the first thing i read and i just went oh what did i say about the game because it was so long ago and I feel like I was probably a little too critical of it in some manners. Like, I was probably more critical of it than I would have been otherwise, because I was trying to find something interesting to say in general and trying to be funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was a game with some issues, and it was kind of cool to see him go like, yeah, no, there were issues, I totally understand it, and like, talking about it, it was really cool to get that kind of feedback, and that's part of the reason I was like, oh, maybe I should have the motivation to do this stuff, because... People find it, and it does kind of matter to people. Even though I'm some random dude, there's still something that matters. Um, and this can also help me deal with, like, there's still, like, I've got personal stuff that I'm sort of sorting out and stuff, and this sort of thing can help. It's part of the reason I started writing, is writing can help me sort through thoughts, processes, and things like that. This can do the same. Letting me to sit and think critically about why the new Sonic trailer does or does not look better than the old Sonic trailer can actually help get your brain sort of whirring and thinking about other things critically as well, which I find really interesting. It can allow you to start analysing other things that are completely unrelated, but it's all sort of, it all sort of like starts working the same way. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys. Um, I, I keep trailing off, I'm so sorry. It's my first video in a while, I'm getting back into it. Um, hopefully there will be more. Um, I will... Probably, once Disney Plus comes out in Australia, I think we've, we've still got basically a week, if it's working properly, I will... I'm, I'm torn, because part of me just wants to watch The Mandalorian, but I also think The Mandalorian could be really cool to react to. So I might try and do a reaction to that. But one thing I am going to do... So I'm going to try and get back to doing all the Conjuring films and all of that. But one thing I really want to do is I want to do reactions to Disney Channel stuff. Like, there's so much Disney Channel stuff I haven't seen. Like, I will probably do a reaction to High School Musical, even though I've already seen it. I actually like High School Musical from memory, but it has been... I probably haven't watched it since high school. Um, but I haven't seen the sequels. So I will react to the sequels to that, and I will just find, like, I think it's Brink, which is the ice hockey one. Um, like, I'll watch that, because I never even knew about it until I heard someone talk about it on the video the other day. Um, so there's, like, lots of stuff that I'm going to do there. Like... Even if I don't do necessarily the new shows that I want to, I will do a lot of old stuff. Um, and hopefully that stuff's good. But that's essentially where we're going. So yeah, if you have any thoughts about Sonic or the channel or anything, leave a comment in the comments below. I will try to look at it and hopefully not come off too abrasive. Hopefully I don't read it while I'm half asleep or waking up or something because I have a tendency to go like, oh, I should reply to this immediately. And that's a bad idea. I need to stop that. Um, if you like this video... If you don't like listening to me ramble and for some reason you're still here, you probably hit a dislike button. But if you didn't like this video anyway, you think it's interesting, whatever, blah, 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 hit the like button. And if you didn't, you can hit the dislike button. Um, but if it's your first time here, you like the channel, or if you've been here a few times but you think like, oh, you're cool, you're doing stuff again, I want to keep watching your stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm basically just doing this for fun, but it's still cool to see when other people are interested in your thing. There's something really, really cool about that. That just, It helps motivate. I'm a person who does get a lot of motivation from responses from people. My writing, I tend to do better and stick with longer when I'm getting feedback, essentially. Um, so with that, that's part of the reason I lose motiva motivation on things. But yeah, hopefully this goes well. It really, I really hate that I lost motivation when I did because the last JoJo video I did was 
did phenomenally well for our channel. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how things go. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Got it! I will go down the house and blame Winston Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> if I tell on you, you'll be in big trouble. Oh my god, so into this! That is the strongest thing in the world. Your mother took me in. She's kind. She treats me like a person.